Okay, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar, and today we have a Latronics PVH 1200 inverter, and you can see the uh, four red uh, LEDs on the left-hand side here. Uh, none of them are actually lit at the moment, and the sun's out, the, the uh, sun is shining, the birds are singing, and there's no lights on at all. Nothing's nothing's working now. Uh, if you're an electrician, the best thing to do is actually check that the uh, inverter has DC power coming into it and uh, always check that this uh, circuit breaker here um, is in the on position. Now one thing, this is one thing we've commonly seen with these electronics inverters and that is that these circuit breakers actually fail and uh, it's a Unfortunately, Electronics are a good brand, but they've used a cheap, uh, cheap DC circuit breaker built into the inverter here, uh, which which they tend to fail after a while. So, what I'm going to do as an electrician is I'm going to do unplug this DC here, and I'm just going to check that there's a correct voltage across it. it should be something like uh, between 70 to 90 volts, sort of thing, something like that DC. And uh, if there is, it means there's power getting to the inverter, and um, but there's nothing. Uh, getting actually to the uh, main part of the inverter through the circuit breaker so it tells me there's most likely problem with the circuit breaker so in this case here I'm going to replace this circuit breaker and uh, well I'm going to open it up and uh, check that that's definitely an issue with the circuit breaker and if it is we're going to replace the circuit breaker so uh, look if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland and you've got a problem like this well Gold Coast Solar can certainly help so give us a call and we'll be able to help you thanks very much Okay, so here we are again, and uh, we've replaced this uh, circuit breaker here with a good quality replacement unit, and you can see that the inverter is working actually at uh, full capacity there, all four lights are on. And now, just uh, with the electronics inverter, it's always important that you know that if the sun's out at all, the and uh, the system's working, the bottom light at least, at the very least, should always be on. If the bottom light's not on and the sun's out, then the system's not working. It's something to be aware of. So uh, here, I'll just have a look at this. We've got um, here's this uh, circuit breaker which we've replaced out of the inverter. It's a it's a cheaper Chinese one, and look, I'm sure uh, Electronics try to save a bit of money by putting in a, a slightly cheaper uh, circuit breaker, but I'm sure it's cost them a lot of money in the long term, and I'm, and I'm sure they regret it uh, <laughs> greatly. So look, um, if your inverter was installed within the last five years, then um, you will be able to get that circuit breaker replaced by Electronics under warranty. If it's outside of the five year time, well, yeah, it won't be covered by warranty. But yeah, look, uh, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. And look, uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.